It's a mucky wet day outside. Only some dogs and ducks want to be outside. All the others come in here. <laughs> anyway, because it's wet outside, I am going to plant my acorns that I picked up the other day. These are only a few. I'll probably go out and get some more. That one might not make it because it's got that big scar and open, but it might be germinating. Don't know. Okay. First thing to do is to have a bucket of water and we pour those guys in. Now, none of them are floating. I want to stir them up just to make sure that none feel like floating. Okay, none are floating. That means those are fertile and are more potential to um, germinate and turn into baby oak trees. So the next stage is I have this, which is a very inexpensive bucket. It's got holes poked in the bottom. And I pour in some, this is old potting soil. Oh, look at that person. I think I'll get that person out. And this person out is in a spider. You can go out there. Go on. There we go. Okay, nobody else is in there. Okay, there we go. Get these few bits out. So this is spent potting soil. Uh, and the next stage is I've got to drain off, uh, take the water, because I don't want... Um, woo, it's really raining. Are you having fun chewing that? Silly pup. So I want to get rid of this spent water. This is rain water collected out of one of our water tanks. So there's all my, with a little bit of water. And I dump it in there. There we go. And spread them about so that they're kind of evenly placed. Now, there are several reasons why I have such high bucket edges. And I'm gonna cover that with a layer of soil. This makes it so the mouse has a hard time climbing in to go and eat the acorns. If it does go in there and get the acorns, I find it and that's the end of that mouse because I want my acorns more than I want the mouse that finds the acorns. One mice mouse finds the acorns, it tells all the others, and then before you know it, all those acorns are eaten and none are left over to germinate. So they do communicate. So these, I'm going to put a bit of extra soil over this. Spent potting soil, it is as unfertile as possible, but a good loamy thing. So that, those are all pressed in there. And I've got to go and get some more of the spent potting soil to put on top. So here is some more spent potting soil, and I'm just going to do a thin layer over these guys. This is literally to allow them to germinate. Once the baby oak trees are coming up, I will then pot these onto other pots. So this, put this in here. Just a light covering. There we go. I mean, that's basically it, just barely covered. Firm it down. Again, if a mice jumps up, it can't get into the pot, one hopes, the bucket. So it makes it convenient. Then um, I've written on the side of the bucket that these are Oaks, September 2023. And um, this bucket, I think it was like two euros or something. Anyway, this is a preventative way to grow baby oak seedlings that mice or rats won't necessarily get. 
Now, all I have to do is bring it out here in the rain. And dip it in the bucket or in the water. So wash it around. There we go. It'll drain out. You can see the water is draining out. And I put it over here. I can bury that one unburied its or expose itself. So there we go. Now here's another one potted earlier. Um, those are hazelnuts. These are not hazelnut seedlings. I'll take those out. So hopefully I'll have baby hazelnuts, baby oak trees, but that will prevent the rats or mice from finding them and getting into them. So it's making it as difficult access as possible so that I can grow on my oaks. Now, if I bring you over here, move pup in the rain. I can bring you to all my baby trees that I've been growing on. And there's often, I have loads, uh, and these are the ones I've kept back. But over here, there's lots of babies. See, these are baby oak trees that I planted last year. You can see that's one kind. You can see the oak trees leaves different. That's another kind. Uh, this is another kind. So these are, here's another kind right there. So a lot of these, I was in Johnstown Castle around this time last year, and I collected loads of acorns. And I've given lots of baby oak trees away, and I'm keeping these ones on. And you can see that that was the year before. Those two oak trees are uh, two years old. These are last year's. Then over here, you can see some of these bigger ones are like three, four, five years. And I'm going to be planting a lot of those out uh, this winter. And then when I'm weeding in the garden, I have other ones that I dig up that are self-sown. This one I just transplanted last week. And this one is transplanted last week as well. Both of these are um, weeded out of the garden. This one has a lovely tap root and is doing really well. And you can see it's growing on so it didn't mind its transplant. But I'm also housing it or they are all in a very sheltered spot. They don't get a huge amount of sun because this pear tree shelters them for, uh, from a lot of the sun so that they aren't overexposed to sun. Baby trees do not want to be overexposed to sun. And these are even more sheltered. So they move out of the shelter as they mature and then they get moved there and then they get planted on. So that's my oak planting. Uh, these are all my hydrangea cuttings that are maturing on. I'll be planting out a lot of those. These are a lot of my apple trees that I'll be planting out this winter as well. So it's going to be a busy winter of planting um, plants out. I haven't opened this yet today because it's uh, kind of a wet day. Not much happening. But uh, yeah, I still have tomatoes left. And my lemon tree is looking beautiful. Look, it's growing on. So, and I've got some cucumbers that are kind of interesting that are still growing on. That's a, I think that's called the a dinosaur egg cucumber. Anyway, yeah, life in gardening is constant. My basil population is getting low, but that's okay. That's life. Anyway, how are you guys doing? It's wet and manky out, isn't it? I think I'm only going to leave one door open. But these are all seeds. Those are seeds. These are cherry plum seeds. Um, well, I can't remember what these other ones are, but they're all seeds of trees and I grow them in pots. Now, these are not so delicious to mice and rats. You can plant them in those kind of planters. Hazelnut, hazelnuts and oak acorns 
are loved by rats and mice. So that's my preventative way of growing them on.